I asked four different AI chatbots to do the following task, and I wanted to compare and show you uh, what the results were. So the task I asked was to take the following transcript and change nothing other than adding punctuation marks because I wanted to turn a video that I made into a short blog post. So I asked ChatGPT, Claude, Bard, and Llama, which is from Facebook. Uh, I used a tool called chathub.gg. It's a Chrome extension, chathub.gg. And I logged into my various services and it's able to, to give the same prompt to these different AI bots. And I'll show you what happens. Well, first of all, the loser is Facebook's llama because uh, it's not that long of a transcript. It was a three, four minute YouTube video. And uh, basically it started out okay, except it was not able to complete. So there you go. Uh, but the ChatGPT, Claude, and I was actually surprised Bard were all able to, to complete it. In other words, they had enough, long enough of a context window, all of them. Claude has the longest context window of 100,000 tokens. ChatGPT has, I think, 8,000 tokens at this time. And then Bard, I don't know how many, but they were all able to long enough to, to, try, to do the job. Now, the question is, which one did the job more faithfully? Remember, the, the, the task was to change nothing other than adding punctuation marks. So let's go ahead and take a look. I copy pasted each one into a separate Google document. So three more, three Google documents total. This one is from ChatGPT. It's, uh, you know, I use ChatGPT the most. So I'm kind of using this one as the baseline to test with the others. And this one did fine. You know, I believe in the work that you're doing for your clients, for your customers, for the world. I believe that the work, so it did nothing other than put punctuation marks because as a YouTube transcript, which I can show you originally, you could see that the, uh, the, there, there are no punctuation marks and there are, you know, this, the spelling I should have been capital I, et cetera. It's really just, just a giant wall of text with no grammar or punctuation. And so ChatGPT does, did a fairly good job, right? The job of all this. Okay. And then Claude also did the same thing. Very similar, right? If you look at ChatGPT and Claude, it's very similar. And then Bard also uh, quite similar, except Bard gave more paragraphs. So I ended up doing uh, Google Docs has a compare documents feature. So I used that to compare ChatGPT to Claude and ChatGPT to Bard. So I want to show you. Uh, this one is comparing ChatGPT to to Bard, okay? So we know that uh, this is the ChatGPT by base. The, the base is ChatGPT, because, uh, um, and then you'll see anything that Bard deleted and anything that Bard added is in pink. So uh, just make it a little bit bigger here. So this is, um, let's see here. So Bard added uh, a, a word here that actually I think does make it better. Um, Bard added, I think a paragraph break and Bard added, um, Bard, instead of adding, yeah, at, instead of adding a word here, it made the sentence longer, which actually I felt was more poetic. And then it, it changed this into its own, uh, pair and, and it changed this one sentence into its, its own paragraph, which I thought was actually quite good. It's more, like I said, poetic or flows better. It's more punchy, I should say. All right, so long story short, I went through all this and I actually liked Bard's version best. best. I think Bard did the best job of doing the task. And then uh, and then I compared ChatGPT to Claude and I didn't like Claude's version as much. And in some cases, um, you know, uh, actually this is, I think, grammatically correct given, given the... Uh, given the sentence, but it's not as, it doesn't flow as well. So long story short, I liked uh, Bard's version the best, which surprised me. Now, given that Bard's context window is probably not as long as ChatGPT, I don't know how it's going to do with longer videos, but uh, if it's really like a 20 minute video or something, I probably would go to Claude because of its longest context window. Um, but there are 
other tools out there that can kind of chop up your prompt request into into shorter ones and and stitch it all together in ChatGPT, something like that. But if you know of such tools and extensions that you use that you really love, you can go and comment below. But I just want to show you uh, the the task I am doing this more and more, where I'm turning my my old videos, especially the shorter videos, into short blog posts and you know social media content. So I thought that this was a really useful uh, prompt. And again, the prompt is take the following video transcript, change nothing other than adding punctuation marks. So I hope this is helpful and thank you for watching.